If you're traveling to Europe with a drone, which weighs more than 250 grams, then you have to appear for a pilot license certification. And you should have a pilot license certification in order to fly your drone. So in this video, I'm going to cover in detail about how you can get your pilot license for free. My name is Sankalp and you're watching Chasing Whereabouts. And if this is the first video you are watching on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me grow. So let's get started. If you're planning to come to Europe with a drone, you might have heard about EASA, which is European Union Aviation Safety Agency, which controls and formulates all the rules which you have to follow for flying drone. If you haven't heard about it, then I have talked more about this in this particular video. You can check it out. Drone operator versus drone pilot. So before we dive any deeper about this particular topic, let's figure out what is drone operator and what is drone pilot. So drone operator is someone who owns a drone. So when you are coming to Europe, you have to register your drone in any of the country, which is the first country where you want to fly drone in Europe. And a drone pilot is someone who is flying the drone. So that's the difference in between drone operator and drone pilot. So when you actually need a pilot license, well, the pilot license is only free for Mavic Mini users because that drone is less than 250 grams. But in case you are going to fly anything which is not Mavic Mini, then you need a pilot license. So anything which is above 250 grams, you need a pilot license for it. Is it free here in Germany? So if you want to appear for the pilot license in Germany, it is going to cost you 25 euro and it's not free. But there are places where you can appear for it for free and you can get your certification as well. So let's guide you to cover in this particular video. Before getting any deeper into the pilot license examination, I want you to understand the category which is present for flying drone. So we have three categories or I mean, we have three open categories where you can fly drone A1, A2 and A3. So A1 is like you can you cannot fly over the mob of people but you can fly close to them. Uh, a three category is that you have to fly away from the residential unit, which is more than 150 meter away from the residential unit. And A2 is something where you can fly close to people. So you can see the category differentiation and the drone differentiation on the screen. Uh, you can pause this video and check it out. So the first step for getting your pilot license would be getting your pilot license for A1 and A3 category. Once you have appeared for the examination and you have cleared the A1 and A3 pilot license certification, that's when you can apply for the A2 category. So this is the steps in which you can do it. We are not going to cover in detail about the registration of uh, your drone because that is something which I have already covered in the video about Greece, Germany and Croatia. The best case scenario is that you own a Mavic Mini because that is less than 250 grams and you don't have to appear for the pilot license. But drum roll. Now is the point where how you can get it for free. Well, good news is that Luxembourg, a country in Europe, offers you everything for free in English. That's the best thing. So LAA, Luxembourgish Aviation Agency, has pre created an e-learning portal where you can register yourself and where you can spend some time to learn about flying drone, which is really good because there you have to take care about the, about the safety of the people when you're flying the drone. And then you can appear for the examination. It took me roughly around three to four hours to complete the A1 and A3 category certification. And finally, I got the PDF version of the certificate, which was like instant. Uh, let me show it. So this is how it looks. So this is the certificate for A1 and A3 category certification, which I completed. It tells you about your name and it gives you a pilot license number. And then it it gives you a date when it's going to expire. So it, my certificate is going to expire in 2029. So before that, I have to reappear for this particular exam and get the new certificate. If you want to know how you can go ahead and register for the learning zone, then you can follow along with the steps right now. And the link is present in the description box. So this is the particular website. So you have to come to this particular web website called Learning Zone. I link is in the description box. You have to register it here. Don't have account. Open an account now. Now you have to fill your first name, last name, email address, country, org country, organization, job, department, password. And once you have once you have successfully registered it, then you will get an confirmation on the email. Once you have done it, you will finally be inside the learning portal. 
it looks like this. So there, the first point, thing which you can see, always available, which is A1, A3 course examination in US remote pilot open category. So that's the certification which you have to do. You go inside, you will, on the right hand side, you can see the course registration request. You will request for it. And you can see the price of the course is free of charge. So once you request for the registration, the learning portal will open up for you to learn on the A1 and A3 category. Once you have successfully completed the learning, you can finally appear for the exam. Uh, let's find out if I can find out the place where you can. Now I will just do give a sample because I have already completed A1 and A3 category. I go to A2 course and I do a course registration request for A2. Now you can see uh, for A A2 training participant and validation. So it is it tells you A2 course US remote pilot open category. You need to plan four hours to complete this course as I said and the course price is free of charge. Now what we have interest on virtual learning feel free to register on China. So this is next. It pulls up my details. There you go. So I'm registered now. So you can start studying, download your PDF form or back to catalog. So we start the studying. And you can see the syllabus and all the details. And finally, in the end, test quiz and open A2 theoretical knowledge examination. Once you have completed, you will finally get your certificate. This is the same step which you have to do for A1 and A3 category. And then follow on onwards, you can do the A2 certifications. So that was all. So by completing this training, you will get a better idea about the safety regulation and things you need to take care of while flying your drone. So that was it for this particular video. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this particular topic, then you can write it down in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.